and you spend all your time making records you get a bit uh, you get a bit crazy with it you know and, and to go and play I mean that's what we all started out doing Trevor and I have always said it would be great to have a pub band a way of just playing to get out of the studio and do some playing this whole project was just to be us guys just having a bit of fun which still is actually but it's sort of gone on from that you can play with lots of good musicians but there's something about a particular group of musicians and it only happens now and again if you're lucky i think well there's a little spark <laughs> it's trevor horn and lol cream and steve lipson <laughs> It was a pretty pretty instant thing. We all played together and we really enjoyed it, so we started to rehearse and we, we put together a set. Doing songs that we'd produced, and that was fine. Our kind of ambition was to play the Barfly in Camden. And then one Christmas we said, why don't we just go in the studio? And we went into a studio and we, 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 we wrote ten songs in a couple of weeks. We were up at uh, Hook End. We went up there for a week or so and did a bit of writing and some really good stuff came out of that. You see, you've got to be really lucky to meet and work with a, a bunch of musicians that have a, an instinctive rapport that is kind of a special one. Our only plan was to have some fun playing music and, you know, eventually recorded some music. Um, and we've definitely done that. And it's just like we're all kind of, you know, even though we're, we're all not 20 anymore, it feels like we're, we are. Producers don't often work together because there's a tendency if there's two producers in the room both to be so accommodating that, that, that neither of them will actually do anything. We don't have that kind of problem. There was no real ego, considering people very successful in their own fields, everybody. Um, when we were just in the, in, the, uh, in the live room at Hook End, we were just some musicians getting together to play. It felt really good, I have to say, straight away. And as far as producer is concerned, I don't think there is one. We've all sort of chipped in. It's a pretty egoless project. You know, a group of guys came together to enjoy themselves and the pro minds liked what we were all doing and wanted to record it. It's a two guitar band and Stephen and Lol are two quite different kinds of guitar players uh, but really complement each other perfectly, you know? And then we just kept in between projects, we all got together, did a bit more, a bit more, a bit more. Lol and I have made records together before. Steve and I have made records together. You know, we, we've all we all we all spend our lives in here, and most of the people that spend their lives in here, you know, you know, you know what to do. And, you know, you have arguments, but but most of the time it's obvious what's right. It's just how good good can it be? You know. come from the Hollywood side and go to the San Fernando Valley side, it's the most amazing moment where you get there. you see the whole valley, you know, uh, stretched out in front of you. What I used to do, I used to drive at this huge hill and hit the, put the cruise control on the car at 90 and just sit back and listen to the car screaming up this mountain right up to the very top and then you come over the other side and then there's all the Los Angeles spread out, you know, you come from the valley over into Los Angeles and that was a kind of an idea for that song. Part of it could be construed as being rock, uh, but I, I don't know, it's very melodic. Well, it's a very harmonic record, I think, um, with good rhythms. Well, we're not a blues band, not really a rock band, not really a sort of pop band, but there's elements of all of them in there. It's all very melodic. There are lots of harmonies, there's a bit of acoustic stuff. It's pretty across the board, it's not very wacky. Pop music hasn't really changed that much. It's changed, but rock music is still more or less the same as it was, you know, whether we're at the end of an era or at the beginning. 